Charles ordered William to fly back to the UK earlier as detected violation in Harry Meg documentary Cut Ties Forever. After visiting the US, Prince William and Kate will return to the UK to meet with King Charles to discuss the impending Netflix documentary. According to royal sources, King Charles III and Prince William will have crisis discussions to address any accusations of racism or unfair treatment of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the TV show. After preparing themselves for a succession of bombshells from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Charles and William will present a united front when the first half of their six-part documentary airs on Netflix. In order to respond quickly to any new damaging claims against the monarchy, senior advisers to the monarch and the Prince and Princess of Wales want to watch all three episodes. During the Prince and Princesses of Wales three-day visit to Boston on Thursday, Harry and Meghan controversially shared a dramatic one-minute trailer on social media. The churlish choice, according to royal sources, was made on purpose to jeopardise William and Kate's trip to the US, which was wrapped up last night with them attending the Prince's Earthshot Prize Environmental Awards. Prince Harry appears in the teaser saying, no one sees what's happening behind closed doors, set to dramatic mood music. Besides, insiders say the Prince is no longer willing to let wild claims about racism and other misdeeds go unanswered, and from now on, will be on the front foot. Senior aides have been told to watch the six-part series like Hawks, and issue a swift rebuttal to any dubious claims. In a back-off message to his brother and wife, he's ditched the long-standing royal mantra of never complain, never explain. Asked how William and Kate would respond if they felt there were inaccurate claims, a well-placed source said, The Prince and Princess's team will wait to see what's in the Netflix series before deciding what to do, but you can see the direction of travel. The final straw came after Harry was accused of attempts to sabotage the Prince and Princess of Wales' high-profile visit to the USA. His decision to issue a trailer to the show on the second day of the tour of Boston was seen as a declaration of war. And yesterday he almost stole the limelight again when a charity video of him dressed as Spider-Man was released and went viral. It came amid a privacy row after a photo of Harry and Meghan inside Buckingham Palace appeared in the trailer. Prince William's latest ruthless approach was evident last week in the speed with which his office acted following allegations of racism by lady-in-waiting Baroness Susan Hussey. The Sussexes caused a global sensation with their infamous Oprah interview in March last year, which included allegations of racism about the royal family, with who they've been in a long-running feud. The royals took two days to respond, issuing a short statement that included the line, Some recollections may vary. Last night, Harry's biographer Angela Levin told GB News, the accusation that the royal family are racist is horrendous, really. I'm sure Harry and Meghan are just jealous. On the Netflix trailer, which focused heavily on Meghan, Miss Levin told Philip Davies and Esther McVeigh, she's an actress, she's been trying to get Harry to be a bit of an actor, but not successfully. The new series is due to begin airing on Thursday, exactly three months after Queen Elizabeth's death. It promises to tell, in their words, the story of the Sussexes' love and their battles with the royal family. Braced for new revelations, Kensington Palace officials are now adopting a new strategy of meeting controversy head-on, rather than letting it fester. King Charles is also said to be anxious to defend himself if any damaging allegations emerge.